The last question that you had that it chokes me up, but I'm glad that you asked this question. Uh, you wrote in and said, are you capable of maintaining hope for the developmentally disabled during a president-elect Trump administration? Uh, and you said, actually, this question may not be fair since it beckons cognitive dissonance. If you choose, you can ignore this question. And I choose not to. And I want to say to you wholeheartedly that, yes, I can maintain hope. I absolutely can. Um, here, here is the thing um, that we, you know, in covering autism and the elections for the, you know, the last five years and looking at this presidential election um, and we were covering all the different candidates and looking at what their autism policies were, what they were saying about autism, what they weren't saying about autism. Um, here, here is where we are at with President-elect Trump. We don't know. And, and, and so that's scary to me because we don't know. We have not heard from him about what his policies are about autism. In particular, we have not heard from him. I, I, to my knowledge, and I've been looking, and if somebody can find something that I missed, the internet is a big place, but I have not heard a peep from him on adults on the autism spectrum. And, and that is very scary to me. But... That doesn't mean that he doesn't have a policy. I am, I'm hopeful that there is a policy. And here's what I know, is that it, it, no matter whether there is or there isn't, you have people in your corner, and I'm one of them. And if there isn't a policy, then we're going to be loud and be heard. Uh, and sometimes we have to be quiet to be heard. Whatever it is, if we have to crawl on glass, we won't give up. And, you know, the journey for people who are on the autism spectrum has been long. And we make progress. Sometimes we take two steps forward and we take one step back. But we continue to make progress. And I firmly believe what I said at the start of the show, if we hold hands, we get further. Regardless of what happens, we will stick together and we will fight for progress. And we will stand up for you and for everyone else. And hopefully, hopefully, President-elect Trump will hear that. And hopefully, he will be someone who will no longer act in a way that puts people who have different abilities down. Um, he will help us to embrace everyone and rise up. Yes, am I concerned? Based on what I've seen, concern is there. Concern is very there. But we don't give up. There is no give up. Failure is not an option. So we soldier on and we will do what we need to do. So hope, yes, my favorite four-letter word. We just were saying it. Uh, there is hope and we will hang on to that. And more importantly, there is work. We will roll up our sleeves and we will do everything that we can. And life goes on and four years goes by. Um, we will do what we have to do, right? 